Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. As always, thank you for joining me. If you could, hit the subscribe button down below. And let's get right to it. America held hostage day 21 here. Of course, we're day 21 of a historic uh, shutdown here in the U.S. Donald Trump and his tantrum has continued now for 21 days. The longest U.S. government shutdown in the history of this country. 800,000 people without work, 800,000 people without paychecks, half of which of that 800,000 apparently are actually going to work but will not get paid for that time. Now they may get paid back later, but it's not going to matter when they're already so far behind on their mortgage they can't get caught up. It's not going to matter if they if they if they start having nutrition issues because they can't feed themselves or feed their families. It's not going to help when their children are going to school and their education is suffering because they're too worried about why they're not going to be able to eat at dinner time. And yeah, I know, I know. Maybe they can go apply for food stamps. Did you know that if you make a lot of money or a decent amount of money, you don't qualify for food stamps? And it's not like you can just be like, oh, I didn't get paid last week. Give me food stamps. It doesn't work that way. It takes time in the, for the system to catch up to your new plight. It doesn't always happen right away. I've known people who were making sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year who all of a sudden weren't making that anymore, who were all of a sudden jobless. But because of their income the pre previous month, they were not allowed to get food stamps for another two months after that. So Donald Trump, stop your tantrum. Stop being a petulant little child. Do your damn job. Your job is to the American people, not to the Republican Party, to the American people. You know, Congress had a bill that was ready to go back on like the 20th of December. It passed the Senate in a bipartisan vote. Like 97 to whatever. What was it? 97 to, I think, or 90, 98 to 2? And two of those people either weren't there or abstained? I think is what that, how that vote went. It could have been 97 to 3. Pathetic. It went to the House. And the coward, Paul Ryan, bowed at the feet of King Trump kissed the golden ring, and said, okay, we're not going to go ahead and pass this, even though it had the votes. It had 319 votes ready to go in the U.S. House. According to everything I have read, the bill would have had support to override a presidential tantrum of a veto. Or as I referred to it on Facebook the other day, the Cheeto veto. Donald Trump, you are a failure as a president. You are a failure as a man. To the U.S. Congress, you are cowards. Especially to the GOP. You are cowards. Your, your job and your duty is to the Constitution of the United States of America and to the American people. Your duty is not to the President of the United States of America. Your duty is to, to the United States of America. And I don't care who I have to vote for in 2020. I will vote against you. If a Republican decides to primary you, and I think one should, for the soul of his party and the sake of the country, I will vote in the Republican primary if John Kasich, as he has mentioned, runs against Donald J. Trump. Like I said, Donald Trump, stop your little tantrum. Stop being a little crybaby. Get the government reopened. Work on your funding for your stupid wall later. We've already put billions of dollars towards physical barriers on the, on the border. They're not even finished being installed and upgraded. And to finish it all out, we are at a 40-year low. Let me repeat, 40-year low on border crossings. Anyhow, 
This has been the Big Ranch Show. I've been your host, Jacob Keck, and I'll see you down the road.